If there is traumatization or abnormal development of these suboccipital structures, also in the occipital lobe, the visual cortex at the base of the skull, it can inhibit the firing of the pre-programmed proprioceptive feedback loops that we have discussed throughout this lecture. If the motor system cannot develop normally, while it is, again, we've talked about this fault tolerant, it can overcome considerable impairments, insults or interference to the system, and it will create comp compensations in order to adapt to these insults. This flow will often leave the child with a reduced capacity to take on additional stresses later, basically neurological loads as they get older and older, and it can manifest in developmental or neurological or processing issues or behavioral issues or a whole host of neurological symptomatology as the child has to start to adapt to a nervous system that is being compromised.